Hey you guys, so today we're going to do a quick getting started with your new MSM and IMC 5.1 SP1 WSM. So we've added some additional functionality here into actually managing the MSM and uh, we're going to look at that today. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna, going to look at setting up your MSM for basic management by WSM. There are a couple uh, check boxes you need to check and things you need to turn on. So we're going to go through that. Then we're going to do a quick basic tour, which is pretty much the same uh, as what we did with the other WSM video. So I'll ask you guys to go back and check that out. And then we're going to look at creating a new VSC. So this is a, uh, in, in MSM terms, a new wireless network. So let's dive right in. So the first thing we need to do is configure your MSM for manageability. So we're going to log into the MSM here. Um, the other thing you want to do, make sure is you've got the right software version, okay? The uh, software version is important. 5.7 is a supported version. I believe 5.5. Check the release notes uh, just to make sure. And we're going to go over to the management tab. So I'm assuming you guys are familiar with the MSM already. Um, management tab gives you a lot of the, the basic manageability. One of the things in here is going to be SNMP, which of course is going to be critical for us. And within the SNMP, we can set the specific port we're going to listen for, um, set our community strings, our SNMP v3. Again, use v3 wherever possible, uh, highly encouraged. Um, we're going to set up the notification receiver. So this is your trap destination. And then configure notifications. We're actually going to select the traps that you want to send to IMC. So this is one of those things that uh, you might want to think about what traps and what information you actually want to be alarmed on. Um, this is an incredibly, incredibly important. Make sure you check the mobility manager button, put in the IMC destination server address and click save. You can see here I'm already connected. Now we're going to go over to the IMC. So in the IMC server, I'm going to type in the IP address for my MSM. And we'll search for it, bring it up here, there we go. So there's my MSM controller. And uh, this looks a lot like the other WSM video um, that was previously done. We've got the wireless services information. So if IMC recognizes this as a, uh, a wireless and MSM supported device, you'll get some information here on the resource page. Now let's go over to the actual WLAN manager, WSM um, overview page. So you'll get the basic resource statistics here. Again, kind of green is good management stuff. Um, gives you an idea of how many APs are online, what's the general health of your wireless network today. Um, alarms, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, let's go here into WLAN manager, uh, resource management, and again, go into access controllers. Um, Again, I encourage you guys to go look at the other WSM video that was done. It'll give you some more indication as some of the things that were added on. Um, we're dealing more with what was some of the enhancements in WSM 5.1 today. So again, we've got some controller information, how many online clients. We can get right into the WLAN, into your wireless service sets, and see who is uh, connected, um, how many clients are connected, which APs are assigned to which SSIDs, all that good information. So how do we actually configure a new um, SSID or VSC in MSM terminology? We're going to go into the WLAN configuration. And again, pay attention to make sure if you've got multiple controllers, you're configuring the right controller. Um, we're going to go in, click the Add button. And here you'll have information allowing you to add a new wireless service set. So the SSID name. And we'll just do new SSID in here. Um, do we or do we not want VLAN tagging enabled? Um, if you enable it, of course, the VLAN ID will become available. If not, it will become grayed out. Um, do we want to enable broadcasts of the SSID or not? Um, Inter-client blocking, do we want clients to be able to connect to each other um, directly? And then, of course, what do we want to do for encryption? So WPA pre-shared key. Um, in this case, we want to do WPA or PA2. Um, put in the pre-shared key. And again, the little question marks will tell you how long the actual key needs to be. This is good stuff. We click OK. There we go. And we have now created our new WLAN, our new uh, wireless SSID. So now what we're going to have to do is go into configuration management again. And we're going to have to bind that new SSID to the radios. So we're going to go into group configuration. And we're going to go into the default group here. 
and we're going to go over into bind to WLAN and we're going to bind the new ESSI, uh, the SSID that we've just created and we're going to bind it to the default in this case which is what I'm applying to the two radios I have in my installation. Again you're going to have to have some knowledge of how your MSM is set up here so work with your wireless guys but uh, if you want to apply the new SSID it is as simple as that. There we go guys. See you guys next time on the next IMC management tutorial.